And, uh, <clears throat> I just got Five Nights at Freddy's 3, and it is pretty freaking awesome. So, let's get started. Yeah, but it's, I don't even know how to play. I just got it, and it's, it seems pretty creepy. Oh, I did the thing, I did the thing, I did the thing, I did the thing. A fun with one game. Warning this game contains flashing lights, light noses, and lots of jump scares. I have no idea how to play. Hey, hey, glad you came back for another night. I promise it'll be a lot more interesting this time. We got some, some great Toronto controls log out in 15 minutes. Right now. So, uh, let me just update you real quick, then you can get to work. Like, the attraction opens in like a week. So, we have to make sure everything works and nothing catches on fire. Uh, when the place opens, click the top one. At the opposite end of the building and work their way toward you and past you and out the exit. Uh, yeah, you've officially become part of the attraction. Uh, you'll be starring as. A security guard. So not only will you be monitoring the people on the camera as they pass through, you know, to make sure no one steals anything or makes out in the corner, but you'll also be a part of the show. It'll make it feel really authentic, okay. I think. Uh, so let me tell you about what to do. We found another set of drawings, always nice, and a boxy head, which we think could be authentic. Then again, it might just be another crappy cosplay. And we found a desk fan. Very old school metal though. Watch the fingers. Uh, uh, right now the place is basically just, you know, flashing lights and spooky props. So uh, I honestly thought we'd have more by now. Uh, we don't have something really cool by next week. So I may have to suit you up in a furry suit and make you walk around saying, boo. <laughs> uh, but you know, like I said, we're trying to track down a good lead right now. Uh, some guy who helped design one of the buildings like an extra room that got boarded up or uh, something like that. So we're going to take a peek and see what we can find. Uh, for now, just get comfortable with the new setup. Huh? You can check the security camera over to your right with the click of that blue button. Uh, you can toggle between the hall cams and the bench cams. Uh, and over to your far left, uh, you can flip up your maintenance panel. You know, use this to reboot any system to make a wall fly. Uh, in trying to make the place feel vintage, we may have overdone it a bit. <laughs> Some of this equipment is barely functional. Yeah, I wasn't joking about the fire. That's, that's, that's the real risk. Uh, the most important thing you want to watch for is the ventilation. Look, this place will give you the spook, man. And if you want that ventilation to go off wide, then you'll start right doing some crazy stuff, man. Keep that air blowing. Okay, keep an eye on things. And we'll try to have something new for you somewhere on that. I have no idea what I'm doing! What am I on that for? I mean, no, I'm on 4 a.m. Oh, I'm a little creeped out, you know? How do I look at the vents? I've only seen one video of this! Foxy's right there! Okay. I'm a little creeped out. Okay. Can't you do something? Ventilation camera system. What am I doing? I'm a little creeped out. Oh, okay. Please help me. I have no freaking idea of what I'm doing. Oh my goodness. Let's go to the bathroom.
are you? Hey, where's the guy? Are you the guy? Who am I supposed to be following? No, I'm not that. <gasps> Ew! He's going to take me to the bathroom. Oh, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> Alright guys, that's first night and I'll see you guys next time. That really creeped me out. Uh even though there was no end of trying to jump in front of me, I had no idea what to do. I'll have to watch some videos on to see what I need to do. And so guys, I will see you guys next time. And I do not like this screensaver. Not the screensaver, I just do not like the background because it's farts on a stick. Well guys, let's see you guys later. You guys are fart nuggets.